Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs, and my name is Phyllis. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you Decorate With Me for Fall, my living room. I'm also going to be sharing with you where I purchase my down feathered pillows and pillow covers on a budget. If you're interested in seeing this, then just keep watching, and I want to thank you all for stopping by. So today I am getting ready to decorate my living room for fall. I'm going to be sharing with you some the pillowcases that I shared in my fall haul, pillow covers, and then the pillows I purchased from all of them, except the two that I showed in the haul. I purchased them from the thrift store. So just a tip, if you want to save money on downfill pillows, go to the thrift store, Goodwill and the thrift store. And a lot of people just bring their pillows there. Most of them, from what I found, the covers can be taken off and you can wash the covers if you like. There are two that I do have that like that. Or you can just purchase some, like I did from Amazon, and put them on the pillows. I sprayed them with Lysol, let them air out and everything. And then I bought new pillow covers from Amazon. But I'm getting ready to decorate my living room. I brought my rug that was in my bedroom i brought that downstairs so i've already arranged the furniture i got all the decor pieces laid out so i'm just gonna let you watch me decorate my living room for fall my living room looks like emptied before i actually put all the pillows and everything up and i brought this table down from my bedroom it was my bedroom i kept the two end tables up there on each side of my bed you'll see that when i show my bedroom how i got it set up for fall i even rearranged the furniture in there as well but this is what it looks like now and let's get decorating. I got it from Amazon and I love the hidden zipper in it so I got two of these and on camera it looks orange but it's really like a it's like a burnt orange rust color it looks like a brighter orange than what it really is but I love it and I love the uh, corduroy it's not really this one is not really corduroy but I just love the pattern of it and here is one of the pillows that I got from the thrift store. Now this came with a different cover on it. I took the cover off and I'm going to put this on. The one thing that I learned how to put in pillows all oh, and then purchasing pillows. If your pillow is say like um, 20 by 20 and this is an 18 by 18, always get a pillowcase smaller than the pillow so when you put it in it's nice and um, it fits very well. It fills it up and it's not leaving with fabric hanging when you put it in. And then a trick that I learned from Chanel is to fold your pillow in half to get it in and then just put it all the way in. And just step it. And because these are down filled, filled pillows, they're easy to maneuver. And there it is. And then all I do is I just push the the corners up and then I love these hidden zip zippers and there it is it's perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and fill the other one in and start putting the pillows well yeah I'm gonna start putting the pillows on on my couch before I do that let me show you the other one I got from Amazon this is the one that I actually showed you in the video and I love how these are. This is an old pillow that I've had for, oh, about 10 years. And it has down fill. This is, um, this cover, unfortunately, is sewed on, so I can't remove it. 
but because it's down filled, I can still use it and just get a cover. And I love these zippers. They, it zips in the middle and then it covers the pattern like blends and and you just flip that over and it's almost like seamless that's the back and this is the front here's another pillow cover I got this from the thrift stores two of them actually and it's like a gold um, and they were well actually the two together were $1.99 two pillowcases and again the pillows I got from thrift store um, these didn't come with the pillow or uh, did they come with the pillow no they didn't come with the pillow they came separately and these pillows that's inside they came from the thrift store so this came from the thrift store and the pillow inside came from the thrift store it just didn't come together I just took it out and I washed these um, I just wanted to show you the I kept the tag so I can share it with you all but I wash these in cold water and then just put them on my thrifted pillow. And I'm going to show you one more set that I got. Okay, so this is another set I got from the thrift store and it came just like this. And I like it because it has a zipper and I can take it out. But the pillow and the cover came together from the thrift store. Um, what I like about this is on the other side, if I want to, I can turn it and make it plain. So I might do that for Christmas because I'm loving this buffalo check. But on the front, it just happens. They, I think this is iron on but it's the downfill. And I got it from the thrift store. And then one more thing, I got, this was a, this is actually a table runner. Got the $3.99 from the thrift store. But my daughter gave me the idea of opening one in and just stuffing it and making a, a long pillow, which is what I did. I just didn't sew it together. It's just pinned because I want to be able to take the filling out and wash it. But, um, and this, I'm going to put this in front of my fireplace. Okay, now that I've shown you all my pillows and my pillowcases, now let's get to decorating and just setting my couch up with the cut off while I was finishing up the couch but here's what this looks like and then my coffee table there's my DIY pumpkin that pumpkin jar was sold at the Dollar Tree years ago I don't even see it anymore um, but I like the way it turned out and I put that in the middle of this because this sage it wasn't blending in well with this pop of burnt orange or rust of whatever you want to call it so I put this since it has orange and stuff in it to kind of balance it off and I really wanted to use this on my coffee table. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, finish my living room by putting some pieces there. And then we'll work on the shelves and the fireplace. Just wanted to come in real quick to share with you the two ginger jars, the flower, and the books. Those are going to end up being centerpieces on my dining room table, which you will see in my dining room fall makeover. Just wanted to come and share that with you all. And the lamp is going to end up on my little cabinet under my three shelves. So let's get back to it.
with you all. This is a DIY that I never shared. Um, <laughs> little plant thing fell out. But this is like one, two, three, four, five pieces put together. And I'm going to put the vase that I copied, that I found online. Something like this would have not have normally been my style, but for some reason I liked it. So I recreated. This here is a vase that I got from the thrift store. These two things are salad bowls that I got in my cabinet that I had that were also thrifted, but I had a dish set that I purchased from the thrift store, but I end up putting them together. This is one of those Dollar Tree um, glasses or it's in the vase section, not in the dish section. And this is the cylinder vase. And all I did was I painted it by mixing some acrylic paint and baking soda together to give it that, um, yeah, you can see that texture. And I copied that dish. Like I said, I'll put a screenshot of what I basically did. Some people call it look for less or just do the look alike. And then I just took what they call donkey tails. I forget the real name of these things. And I just sit it in there and made my own base. I have another one glued together that I just haven't did the texturing on it in my kitchen. So I might do that for my kitchen. But um, like I said, normally this is not something that would be my style, but for some reason I gravitated toward this thing and liked it, like the style of it. So that's it right there. So I'm gonna put this on my fireplace and continue decorating, finishing that, and then we'll finish the living room makeover with um, under or on the floor of my fireplace. Okay, now this basket, um, if some of you all remember my five store haul, this is the um, wire cart, I'm gonna call it, which isn't what it is, it's a cart that I purchased from Big Lot. And then these flowers came from Michaels. And then this um, throw blanket came from Amazon. I love the way it feels and it's so soft. Um, what you will see me doing is um, I will be putting the flowers in the cart but they won't stay there. I will eventually be taking them out and I use them to create a wall art. If some of you all watched my four fall DIYs, but again, these flowers, they were so pretty in the cart, but I wanted something to complete that wall art because again, that tiger was not my style. So what you'll see replacing these flowers is one of my um, black and white checkered pumpkin pillows. So we'll get back to the decorating. Another thing I forgot to share with you, I had this basket for years up in my laundry closet just holding stuff. This is the original color. I had some olive green spray paint. I used it to spray paint this just so that it can blend. I didn't want it to have it like this. I'm going to put it on the table while where my what my TV is sitting on. And then these two pillows that I have is going to go on each side. These are thrift pillows as well as the covers. They come together that I put them together. And then here's the other pillow that I have that I was sharing with you all about the pillowcase and the pillow separately, both from the thrift store. So I'm gonna set that up under my um, TV table. Okay, lastly, I wanted to share, I made my own side table and I've had this table, um, DIY table in front of my fireplace for a while. I got this Lazy Susan from the thrift store some time ago. And then this used to be, this used to be a clock. You see where the mechanism was and here's the mirror and I have another mirror that I put on top of here and I just made it into a table. What I'm getting ready to do is just glue this 
attached to the back of this, just using some glue gun because I don't want it to be permanent. And it turns into a uh, swivel side table, I guess. <laughs> and it's just going to be here next to my um, chair here in the living room. So I'm going to do that and then I'll give you a tour of what my living room looks like completed for fall. And here's my makeshift swivel side table. Okay, here is my living room all completed and decorated for fall. I really like how it turned out. You'll notice some of the pieces are changed out, like over here doing the um, decorating part of the video. I shared and showed where I had the ginger jars there. I did use those for my dining room centerpiece. And then this pumpkin, I had it on the fireplace mantle. I decided to put it over here and I like it over here and there is my DIY um, 3d canvas art for fall and here are the pillows and um, I think I stated I'm pretty sure I did state in the decorating part that I took these flowers out of the basket and to replace those I used one of my um, buffalo check pillows to go in the basket and you'll see that here is the coffee table I like the way that's centered I did have um, a pumpkin under there which is now on my DIY turn side table I had it up under here on that tray mirror tray but I decided to take it off and a mirror tray is on there because it's just hiding some stuff <laughs> that I didn't want showing and here's my DIY pumpkin in the center of this uh, wreath fall wreath and there are my pillows I promise you these pillows are not orange they are rust and they're kind of a burnt orange but they look brighter on the camera but they're actually a rust colored but I still like the way they turned out now let's go um, over here and you'll see I never did upload me um, uploading the DIY video I did do it but I just never uploaded putting these appliques on here that I shared within my five store haul and the doorknobs both came all, everything the legs the acrylic legs the knobs and the um, appliques came from Amazon and if you're interested I'll link those in the description box and I really like the way they turned out the initial ones that I had on here made the cabinet too short and looked dwarf I put those and created my own riser, which is out there on the foyer entry. I'll be sharing that with you all um, when I upload the foyer entry for fall. And there's a black pumpkin right there. And then up on this shelf, you see the white pumpkin wrapped in the um, rope. And then up there, another pumpkin. And then over here, just a pop of orange. And I just like the way all this turned out. And this lamp was also on that table. When I had the ginger jars, I just put it over here. And I'm doing this during my lunch, so I'm going to be speaking kind of fast. Um, here's that um, table runner turned into a long pillow. Again, it's not permanent because I got it to where I can take those out and wash it. And here is the other pillow in here with the blanket that I purchased from Amazon. And here is my fireplace mantle. And I love my picture light. I think I'm going to be purchasing another one to kind of put in my room and possibly three to put in my hall. I want to do my upstairs hall. Over here is my bar cart. I didn't do much to that. All I did was just put a leaf on there. And then the pineapple has nothing to do with fall. I just finished a little bit of um, wine that was in there and put that up there. It has nothing to do with fall, but I just put it up there. <laughs> but I like the way by fall my living room decorated for fall came out again here is my side table and I did I do have my TV saved on a screen server sometime ads come in there so I'll show that screen saver once the the um, ad goes away and there it is the pumpkin fall setting screensaver okay go back one more time well I hope you all enjoyed this 
makeover. And if you like what you saw here today, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And also look at my other videos that I've uploaded. I mainly do DIYs, but I just recently started uploading makeovers of the different areas in my home, my living room, my bedroom, dining room, kitchen, foyer entry, and bathroom. Um, my, my office as well. I didn't put that in for this year, although I may because I was just reached out to by a company to share their um, pillow, not pillows, but covers for sectional. So that'll be a video upcoming soon as well. And for my faithful viewers, thank you so much for your viewing faithful support. And again, I want to thank you all for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.